You see that? That's tempeh. What can you do with it? Well, you can saute it, you can bake it, you can roast it, you can grill it. You know what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to make bacon. You know what I'm going to do with that bacon? I'm going to stuff baked potatoes with it and top it off with a vegan cheese sauce. It's going to be delicious. So the first thing I have to do is deal with these potatoes. Now, these are Idaho potatoes. Perfect for roasting or, or baking because they're very dry, very mealy, have a lot of starch. Okay? And what I'm going to do first is I worry wash them good. You got to wash them good. They grow in the dirt. And then I take a fork and I make holes in it. Why? Because as I cook them, there is some moisture inside, and that moisture gets hot, and if you don't poke holes in it, and the moisture can't escape, the potato could crack or break. The other thing I have to do is put a little oil on the outside, for two reasons. First of all, I want, as I roast this, I want the skin to get a little crispy. So I put a little oil on the outside of it. I rub that over there. Okay, rub your potatoes with oil. Just a little bit of oil. You know, about, you know, just a pinch of salt. And I want to season the potato with it. All over. A little salt. Now when you eat the potato with the skin and everything, the skin tastes really good. It's not just you're going to eat the potato and say, okay, it's a baked potato. You're going to eat it with the skin and the skin's going to be delicious. Hey, I'm putting the potatoes inside a 375 degree oven for about an hour. Notice I put the potatoes right on the rack and a piece of aluminum foil underneath just to catch any water that drips out of the potato so it doesn't burn on the bottom of the oven. It'll collect on the aluminum foil and burn on the aluminum foil and I can take the aluminum foil off. Now I have to cut this tempeh up and the way I like to cut it for bacon, like this. That's the kind of piece I get. About a half inch apart and cut it about a 45 degree angle. There you go. And now what I want to do is each piece I just want to cut in half. And there's my pieces of bacon. We're going to start with a quarter cup of soy sauce. Now this is low sodium soy sauce I use, but it still has a lot of salt in it, so be careful. I give a little sweetness with two tablespoons of maple syrup. And don't forget, the maple syrup I use is 100% maple syrup. Other maple syrups are basically uh, high fructose corn syrup and maple flavor. No. This has to be 100% maple syrup. Bacon's a little smoky, right? So we're going to add one teaspoon of liquid smoke. Half a teaspoon of granulated garlic. And what I do here, here's a little trick. Take your cap. Here's your granulated garlic. And I buy the big size Costco. Okay, I buy the big size. So here's your granulated garlic. I pour some into the cap. So if I pour too much, I can pour some back, okay? And all I need is a half a teaspoon. And I also need some black pepper, also about a half a teaspoon. I have your whole black peppercorn, and I'm gonna grind in about a half a teaspoon. And there's all that seasoning. Okay, now the pan is a little bit hot. There's a tablespoon of oil in there, and then I'm gonna add my pieces of tempeh. I want that tempeh to get brown on all sides, give it good flavor and a better texture. And then we're going to add the seasoning and let the seasoning permeate and make that tempeh into a beautiful bacon. Hey, look at that tempeh. That's nicely brown. I don't want it to get burned. I just want it to brown. Now we're going to brown it on the other side and then we're going to add our seasoning. I checked the tempeh. I don't want it to burn. 
looking good. Now I have my liquid seasoning, remember that? And I'm gonna put that in there. I'm just gonna let it baste. I'm just gonna baste my uh, bacon. I turned off my heat. Don't need that anymore. Now just the heat of the pan will just let this kind of reduce and coat the tempeh. I'm looking good. Smells delicious. And I can put the tempeh right on the plate. Hey, there's very little moisture left in the pan. You know what that moisture is? Right there, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Wow, that's some good looking bacon. Now, are you ready for the easiest cheese sauce you're ever gonna make? And it's vegan, and it's delicious. I'm using my blender for this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with cashews. These cashews have been soaking in vegetable broth overnight. You can soak it for two or three hours, but I just, I know I'm gonna make this today, so yesterday, I just threw um, a half a cup of cashews into one and a half cups of vegetable broth overnight. No problem. In the refrigerator, it's gotta be in the refrigerator. I add that to my blender, along with two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna use some black pepper. I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Freshly ground black pepper. Beautiful. I want a little smokiness in there, so I'm gonna use some smoked paprika. Only a half a teaspoon. I put it in my hand, just in case a little extra comes out. I don't want to uh, make this too smoky. There you go, half a teaspoon. And most important part, nutritional yeast. I'm gonna use about a quarter of a cup. That's what nutritional yeast looks like. Tastes like Parmesan cheese. It even looks a little bit like Parmesan cheese. It has a little bit of a yellow kind of color, but it has that nutty Parmesan cheese flavor. Absolutely fantastic. Non-dairy, there's no dairy in it. It's made from, it's a byproduct of making yeast. We're gonna give it a little whirl in my blender. Here we go. Check that out. That looks terrific. Nice and creamy and luscious. Okay, so it's been about an hour. The potatoes should be done. Ooh, they're looking good. Now what I want to do is cut them open. I don't want to cut them all the way through. Just cut them a little bit. Give it a squeeze like that. So it opens like that and it forms a pocket inside. Okay, and then I'm going to take my fork. And I'm going to give that potato just a little bit of like a, I'm scooping it out, but I'm kind of like flaking it all around like that. You know what I'm going to do with that? I'm going to stick some bacon in there. Okay. Now we have to cover it with cheese sauce. We have the cheese sauce you made, right? You blended all the ingredients together. Now watch what happens, this is like magic. You see how nice and smooth and creamy that is, wonderful. Okay, put it in a pan, put it on medium heat. Give it a stir once in a while. It's gonna take about five minutes and this sauce is gonna get hot and as it gets hot, it's gonna get thicker and cheesier. Okay, it's come to a simmer. Keep mixing it so it doesn't uh, burn on the bottom. And now, it's about the thickness of a nice, thick cheese sauce. Don't forget, give your sauce a taste. It may need a little more seasoning. I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of salt. That looks good. That looks like melted cheese. 
I'm going to take a nice spoon and spoon it right over. Right over that bacon and potato. Look at that. That's fantastic. Hold it. It's not done yet. Now it's done. A little bit of scallion on top is a perfect flavor and garnish. Hey, if you enjoyed this potato recipe, you got to check out my potato waffle. Absolutely delicious. I'll see you there.